Wow, first full day in Nuremberg. Um, yeah, let me just adjust this. Yeah, so I um, uh, woke up about 3.30 this morning, just couldn't sleep. Just got to get the body clock right. Um, so, yeah, went down, breakfast uh, 6.30. Really nice restaurant that's part of, is beside the, the hotel here, so it's open to the public as well. Uh, really nice breakfast there. Uh, come up, got going. So, yeah, got away nice and early. Caught the new barn to uh, Plara. Hopped off there, then on the tram up to uh, Tiganata, where the castle is. Uh, got there right on nine o'clock, right on open. So there was myself, another couple, and a class of school kids, primary school kids. Uh, they were really funny. So the, basically the castle was empty. Um, I just got ahead of the kids um, because they were, they were on a tour, an organised tour, and pretty much had the whole castle to myself. Uh, went from very self-explanatory room to room. There's stuff there tells you what it is. You can get an audio guide if you want as well. Um, the castle entry and all that was part of the Nuremberg card. They just scan it. I tell you, it was a little bit hard to find the actual entrance to the um, castle um, office, if you like, or, or, or where you get in. To get into the grounds is fine. You sort of got to walk around a bit. Then you, there's no real directions. You just see these glass doors. I walked up, open them, and that was uh, the entry. But yeah, you work it out. Um, yeah, it went through, it was, it was quite good, enjoyed it. Uh, interesting, you know, a lot of history, obviously. A um, lot of stuff on display. Um, really, it worth a visit, without doubt. Absolutely worth a visit. Um, now, I was in there till about, oh, a bit after 10, there's a coffee shop there, about quarter past 10, had a quick coffee. Um, there's some guys there doing some serious stuff, they had a drone. Uh, they were YouTube guys, YouTubers had a drone and some real good camera gear and were doing some stuff. Um, just had a quick yak with them, the best I could. <laughs> they spoke a little bit of English, I spoke no German. Anyway, um, so yeah, uh, as I'm walking out, I passed at least 20 tour groups coming in with 30 to 40 people in some of them. Absolutely unbelievable. I had trouble actually getting out. Um, of, because you've got to walk over a bridge up that's over the old moat. Unbelievable. I couldn't believe my luck that I, uh, that I snagged it. So a tip there, get it at opening time and have the whole place to yourself. Yep. And even if they, even if they turn up 20 minutes, half hour after you, they're still behind you. So you're ahead of them as you're going through the castle. Um, but yeah, it was, it was, uh, unbelievable. Um, caught the uh, tram um, back down to uh, Plara, jumped on the U-Barn, got off at Laura Kench, which is that U-Barn station is about 50 metres from, probably not even that, 30 metres from where I'm staying. I uh, come back, had a little bit of lunch. Um, then I had at one o'clock a tour to the underground dungeons under the old... Uh, town hall. So um, it was in German, but there was only one German person on the tour, the rest of us were English or didn't speak, so it was really funny. But I had an audio guide when you get, it was really worth going on too. Um, I, that's, that was separate, I paid for that, I got that on Get Your Guide, just did on long before I left. Um, there is one at six o'clock in the evening, is an English speaking one. but. If you go on the German one, they, can, they just give you an audio guide. When you get into a particular room, you press the button for that and it tells you about it anyway, so I had no issues. Uh, really good, worth going under the old, you go right down under the old town hall where the old dungeons were, um, the torture chambers where they used to torture them. And, um, yeah, about 40, 45 minute uh, tour, really worth doing. Uh, I walked from there uh, oh, so after they did the castle, before I came back, I went down to Albert Drury's house. Um, he was a, I suppose you call it, architect, painter, printer, very well known here. 
the house, uh, just empty rooms pretty much, not much in there, a little bit in there. Um, yeah, you've got to watch your head everywhere because all doorways are about five foot high, you feel in there. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> that must have been small people, for sure people. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, only that it was free, I'd pardon the Nuremberg card, and I was in there maybe 15 minutes. Uh, once again, because it's very tiny, you can only have one person in a room, um, and you have to wait for one person to come out. And it's really just basically empty rooms. Um, then, uh, yeah, then I went down, come back and some lunch. Um, yeah, so after I did the uh, tour up dungeon tour, I went for a walk down uh, Tanner's Lane, which is an old lane there, the old shops, and they were quite nice, yeah, a nice walk down through there, down to the river, crossed over the suspension bridge and walked along the river there. To, um, then there's the old wooden um, bridge uh, very similar to the one in the Cern in Switzerland, not as long, but of the same type of design. Um, yeah, then past the hangman's house, sort of walked back, uh, went and uh, did a little bit of shopping, got, got a couple of drinks and some coffee and um, some milk, stuff like that. There's actually no fridge in this room. Um, it's, it's quite a good room, but there's no, no fridge or minibar like that, which is like we use a minibar anyway. So I just got some uh, long life milk and some coffee sticks and yeah, fine. Um, yeah, and that's sort of, you know, by the time I did that in the market, then I grabbed a, um, a bratwurst with some sausage on a bun with some, um, you know, so, uh, cabbage on it or sauerkraut on it. Yeah, it's okay, it's fine. Oh, for lunch I had um, this chicken. There's a place here where people just queue up every morning and, and it looks like locals. And they just give you a bun cut in half with a slice of pork in it. But the slice is about an inch and a half thick. And it's only a couple of euro. I've got a piece of actually crumb chicken in it. For lunch it's quite nice with a bit of mustard on it. It's quite nice. Um, yeah, didn't worry. Not really that hungry. Not going to go out for dinner or nothing like that. Going to have an early night. Um, yeah, I've been up since I said 3 4 o'clock this morning. So, yeah, going to have an early night. Um, get going early again in the morning. Tomorrow's another big day. Um, so, yeah, I'll uh, let you know where I get up to tomorrow. Cheers.